this was an interesting image to me. I, I was looking at this and I started thinking about the Turing test, the benchmark of computer technology being that it could be so responsive and so kind of human-like that someone who didn't know any better would think they were interacting with another human instead of a machine. It's an interesting 180 then, if we sort of fast forward 50 or 60 years, that now what we want to do is interact with machines and know that we're interacting with the machine. But the photo kind of dramatizes some of the ambivalence around that. It's interesting that the people that are surrounding Pepper have either sort of this hesitant body language and it's the robot himself reaching out or the other people who have decided to just sort of further mediate this already artificial interaction by interacting with the robot through their phones or sort of filming it. I bet you could go to the 70s and see a similar show like this where they say, oh, look at here's what a robot's going to look like. And you'd imagine that by 2016, we'd all have a robot like this in our house. But nobody really wants that. And yet we are surrounded by robotic devices that do handle a lot of things for us. So there's like this romantic idea of a robot that we've been talking about for decades. And then there's the reality of the robotics that are all around us. Everyone's sort of confused by it. Their expressions are like, I don't know what this thing is, but here it is in front of me. I was thinking about how the design of the robot sort of seems to want to invite interaction. It's sort of cute. It's got these big eyes. It's cartoony. It's small. It's, I think it matters that it's white. So all these ways to kind of soften the, the inherent weirdness factor of interacting with the robot. This picture to me feels so well seen, and you know, just in terms of the way it's composed. I mean, there's a sort of the way the table is framing the pepper, you know, like a frame, and then the person's iPad, the frame of the iPad echoes the frame of the table around the robot. I mean, the fact that everybody seems to be wearing blue or black and the whole place is decked out in white, blue, and black, it's kind of an extraordinary picture just compositionally. And then those little red lanyards that just pop out and really call attention to incredulous expressions on their face. And just from a formal perspective, it's a really well-seen picture. We had the agricultural revolution and the industrial revolution. I, I think we're, we're into the next revolution. And this picture is indicative of that, that this is just the birth of robotics, but they're going to become more and more prevalent in our society as we progress, no doubt about it.